how to create horizontal scroll animation on Wix Studio. Hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can create a horizontal a scroll animation into your website that you have created on Wix Studio. So it is very easy and very simple. All you need to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning to the end and you are going to be good to go. The first thing that you need to do is to head over wix.com sign in for an account and you see the sites dashboard of yours here we have all the websites that are in our uh, account right there that we have created some of them are labeled built in wix studio some of them are not labeled at all so that means that are created in the standard wix editor if you do not have a wix in a studio uh, built-in website or built already you are going to click on create new site from here and you're going to get the choice to either try Wix Studio or go with uh, Wix Editor. So you are going to try Wix Studio. What I am going to do is to select the website that is built on Wix Studio. Click on select and edit site. It will load up right there the Wix Studio dashboard of that website, basically the control panel of it. And now we are going simply to click on edit site. Once you have clicked on it, it will load up right there the Wix Studio website of yours. So here we have the website fully loaded. Now, what are we going to do is to create a three sections and each one of the section is going to be um, different by the color. So this is a, a section or an empty section created already. So what are we going to do is to create a, a section above it. So we are going to set up here the color of it. I am going to try and uh, here change the color of it. So we are going to make this, for example, green. And also I'm going to add a section under this and make the color of it to something like this gray. So basically we are going to let this is uh, right there between the sections only white. So now we are going to open up the, uh, the inspector and you are going to head over the size and click on the three horizontal uh, points and we are going to activate the advanced settings. Now, what are we going to set up here on the height? We are going to type in 300 H uh, or there uh, V H like that, which means uh, this is a measurement unit, which means a viewpoint height, the VH. Now, what are we going to do here is to set up the uh, or choose the layout from here. But before that, we are going to apply the advanced CSS grid to it. So we are going to click on apply and I'm going to apply it. Now we are going to change the layout. We are going to get here as uh, some other choices. We're going to select here one by three. So this is the one by three. And now we are going to see the columns or the rows here the rows we are going to click on here we're going to select the three rows that we have basically we have a one by three rows click on here and we are going to change each one of them to viewport height which is vh so here it was a viewport height and not a viewpoint height i excuse myself for that so I will go ahead and set up this one. So this is 100 for each one of them. So they are divided for three rows, as you can see here, uh, even. Now, what are we going to do is to add to the first row. I am going to be back here, the first row, where is it? So this is the first row. We are going to add some items to it by clicking on add add element and then we are going to choose the layout tools and we are going to select here flex boxes now i'm going to add this one here it is going to be added uh, where is it here we have it so i'm going to take it to the first right there as you can see here i'm going to add some items four five six like that and then what are we going to do is to see the item inspector and then we are going to set up the width of this uh, flex box to 
we are going to increase it by 200 not percent but bh i'm going to type in here 200 bh where is it so it could be set up if not the percentage you can go ahead and set it as a vh 200 vh like that and you can go ahead and see that we have here one two three four five six they are set up together like that now what are what are we going to do here is to click on here and then we are going to uh, regularize them or make them equalized so we are going to head over the layout item proportions click on equalize and this is it only it has done the job so it is on auto save so here we have it now what are we going to do basically is to head over the layers and see where is it so i have here the flex box you can go ahead and select the flex boxes and add some media right there to each one of them so basically i'm going to add some media i'm going to add this also i have to add some media you can go ahead and just whatever you want uh, the sizes of these uh, boxes i'm going to add here this basically i'm going to add uh, the all the media to this specific ones so i have seven i think items one two three four five six i think i have seven so what i am going to do is to select this one not this not that but this one how we can go ahead and get it is by setting up which is here selected one two three four five six seven so we have one two three four five we're going to put it here at the uh, beginning also the last one is here so we have two empty ones so we are going to add the media to them this and boom this also I have made an error so we are going to add the media here this is not for the background of the section but this is it and that we have it like that boom now here we have added the media to all of the containers right there or the flex boxes now what are we going to do is very simple so we are going to head over here so we are going to select the second row right there make sure that you are on the second row and from here we are going to select here the second row so what is this so the rows are here the gaps so the position i don't know this is not uh what i wanted to do but i think that you've got the idea so this is the first row to hide this and the second row is here so what are we going to do is to add a container or a line so it doesn't matter so you can add here a container and that container i'm going to stretch it above here the section the uh not the section but the second row and then we are going simply to add a color to it for example this uh, a distinguishable color like red I'm going to apply it and then i'm going to add some padding to it so we have the adjustment position here we have the position of it it is going to be right there so we are going to add a padding of 90 percent maybe one not 100 but 95 let's segment it 100 and 100 it is too much so 99 boom like that and here we have it now what are we going to do here so what are we going to do here is going to set up this as a trigger now this is the trigger that we want right there so we can distinguish between the scrolling and the things 
what are we going to do is to select here of the animation i'm going to select animation uh, so we are going to animate so we are going to see the scroll i'm going to select here the um, uh, flex boxes so we are going to set up the scroll click on add and now the animated element should be set up to the flex box we're going to select the type of animation in and here what are we going to do is to adjust the animation so we are going to set up another animation here so here where is it so here we are going to set up the flex boxes on scroll i have added the items i'm going to add or select this right there so scroll flex box and then we are going to select the move click on adjust animation now for the animation area we are going to augment it or increase it to 100 percent the distance we are going to need only 100 uh, vw which is uh, width and the uh, moving angle is going to be 270 degree like that so 270 and here is it now one thing that we need to set up be before finishing the uh, last as you can see uh, right there um, touch we are going to make these a little bit bigger I'm going to make them a little bit bigger so it doesn't matter anymore. So we're going to head over and select the flex boxes and see the position of them. We're going to the position. So we're going to select the uh, uh, right there, the default. So we're going to select here the position type and set it as sticky. So we are going to click on preview and when you scroll you're going to see that it is going to have a horizontal scrolling so this is it so i hope that you have guys enjoyed the content hope to see you soon on the next one and do not forget if you have uh, been confused or you don't understand anything go ahead and play back and forth the video until you understand these steps Thank you guys for watching. I hope to see you soon on the next one.